You know, last night was buckethead night in this ballpark. They have it once a week. Oh, and one. I'm, and unfortunately, I don't there is not a bucket available for Ronnie Wu, who's behind home plate. Well, I was going to say the Brewers might be on their way to sweeping the Cubs, but Ronnie's going to irritate every single one of the Brewer fans in retaliation. Check out the guy sitting to Ronnie's right. Hey, give it a rest, pal. Well, we better be careful because somebody might have a cheese log hidden on their person. <laughs> Look at that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> the man never wished he was deaf until tonight. <laughs> We're wondering what in the world is this? Now Ronnie's on his feet. He's really fired up. Well, he's always been a tremendous Mike Words fan. Silences Ronnie for the moment. Not a chance. A moment. That was it. <laughs> Two hit game for Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> those folks are stunned. Get those guys an Advil contract. But can't beat fun at the old ballpark. So when a sage once told me, you'd have a hard time convincing he those three have, fellows he to must, Ronnie's right of that. He art. must have been deaf. Look at that lady's face. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's <laughs> overpaid. <laughs> they're, just, they're just happy to be here. Wow. All you can hope is nobody has a map to St. Louis. <laughs> I'll never forget when we went to Tokyo and played over there. Ronnie Wu made the trip. <laughs> He's, that guy's looking for an usher. <laughs> one one pitch. I always wanted to ask the Japanese customs official who saw Ronnie walk up in his Cubs uniform when the Cubs were overseas in Tokyo what he thought of that guy. He is unique. There's no doubt about no it. No doubt about it. Two balls and a strike. The guy about four rows behind Ronnie waving a bat. Three and one. Little pop center field. Patterson is there. And woo woo indeed. We go to the ninth inning. It's four nothing Milwaukee.